Three cheers for all Australian Navy. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Saturday the 4th of October 1913 was a day of national significance when the battle cruiser HMAS Australia led the new fleet of the Royal Australian Navy into Sydney Harbour for the very first time. Hundreds and thousands of Australians, led by the Governor-General, lined the harbour shores to see the flagship Australia lead the light cruisers Melbourne, Sydney and Encounter and the destroyers Warrego, Parramatta and Yarra through the harbour to Farm Cove. The International Fleet Review will be held from the 3rd to the 11th of October this year to mark this historic event. It will celebrate the service of Australia's Navy and give Australians an opportunity to see navies from around the world up close. On Friday the 4th of October, warships from around 20 nations will enter Sydney Harbour to commemorate the centenary of the fleet's arrival. HMAS Sydney will lead a line of seven Royal Australian Navy ships to re-enact the original entry. The Governor-General will conduct a ceremonial review of the combined fleet of around 40 warships and 8,000 sailors on Saturday the 5th of October. That day's events will culminate in a spectacular fireworks and light show from Sydney Harbour. There will be activities across Sydney, including Australian and visiting warship open days, aircraft flyovers, naval band performances, a parade of around 20 tall ships, and a march of the combined naval contingents through the centre of Sydney. The IFR will be a spectacular event, and I'm confident we'll deliver a world-class naval review which will make our Navy proud and Australia proud.